G'day, my name's Tyson from the Adelaide Healing Energy Centre. We're located at 192 Prospect Road, Prospect. We're all about wellness. Now wellness is not just the absence of disease. It's about what you do, the proactive steps that you take in managing, maintaining and increasing your wellness so you are more productive in your life and the life that you choose to live. Today at b and I'll be talking about what my wife and I have done in the last 12 months of coming into this business and what we've done to grow the business and the things that we've changed to make this business more accessible, our products more personal to our clients. Our center really enjoys the relationships between health professionals. They're our main source of referrals, whether it be massage therapists, physios, chiros, psychiatrists, psychologists, and other therapists in the mind-body space arena. So I hope you enjoyed today's presentation and feel free to visit me and our team at the Adelaide Healing Energy Centre. Thank you. All right, um, so look, today, oh, 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 thank you, yeah, cheers. So today I'm gonna to be talking about um, uh, the Adelaide Healing Energy Centre. That's my family, my wife and my son. Um, so I'm just gonna get straight into, 12 months ago we bought into this business and we've got two other directors. We've got Jan and we've got Leslie, and that's myself and uh, Deep D. So we bought into this center, and we're the four, four directors, basically, okay? The center's been around for 20 years. And it basically was run as a bit of a hobby. Everyone in there really loved what they were doing. And they've done so many things within the center over that time. We've come in with a bit more of a business aspect and like I said, I'm going to go through and show you what we've done in the last 12 months. If you want to know more about the services and treatments we do, feel free to come and talk to me after or have a coffee with us in the centre. So this is 192 Prospect Road. This is our centre here on the corner of Beatrice Street and Prospect Road. We do a number of different things like, you, know, you can read them here in our day spa section. We also have a number of different services, but like I said, I'm not going to go through them quite a lot that we do down there. But what have we done in the last 11 months on the business side of things? Because sometimes we don't really talk about what we do in our business to make our business more successful. So the first thing we did was we created a centre field. We have a lot of contractors, independent contractors. Having a centre field basically means that everyone works within the centre for the centre. They are the centre. They're not individuals under one roof. So we've changed a lot of that mentality as there was quite a bit of that. Rebranding, we created our own uh, brand of oils, Chakra Roll-On oils as well. So I'm a big focus on having our own products that AHEC, Adelaide Healing Energy Centre, that we make and we provide the community. We moved the stock, we changed displays to freshen up the actual shop front within there. And we focus on what moves faster. So salt lamps, saunas and oils. They didn't really know what were the top items that moved. So we identify what areas within the shop front moved and we're focusing on that, that has a higher profit margin and we can move that a lot faster. We've also added a lot more local products from local suppliers on a consignment basis. So in the business, you can either purchase all your stock, but then you've got cash flow issues because you've got stock on the shelves. So we've got a lot of consignment people now that are supplying us great products and stock on a consignment, which is really good for us. And it's great for the shop, because there's a lot of fresh items within the shop front that we have there. And we remove certain things like you know, drinks, fridges, and other areas of unnecessary machinery that was within the um, shop. Our professionalism. This is a, an old appointment card. They used to print it out, and they'd cut that in half, and it was just a piece of paper that they would give to the client. So you'd come in for a massage or a service, and they'd give you this piece of paper, and that was your your appointment card. So I thought, well, that's pretty crap. So <laughs> we redid the business card. Now what happened is that the business card, there was a business card for every contractor, but we were creating a center. So we created one card for the center, and on the back of that card, we created the appointment card. So every client that comes in, no matter who they're seeing or what they're doing, they actually get a nice appointment card with the center details on it and further branding and further um, education and it, it advertises our other services when we were losing out that opportunity to, to customers. 
This is just part of our cafe area and our shop front. So things like this fridge was costing us money when we didn't need it to have drinks in there. We don't sell a lot of drinks. You know, people come there and have some coffees or water, but we've got fridges out the back, so we've, we've, we've put that there. We've also discounted a lot of the old dead stock and moved it to the back of the shop where it's not taking up prime space, where people can actually, you know, go there and get some discounted sales on. So they had about maybe 30 grand worth of stock that just wasn't being moved and it was sitting on the shelf. We had to discount that because I would rather a percentage of that money back in my pocket so I could put the money into other places and generate further incomes from that or provide better services. So things like our oil labels. I couldn't get a picture of the old ones, but that's our, one of our old bottles there. It was just a triangle label. Sorry, that's a bit unclear, but we rebranded all of our labels so it's a bit nicer feel. Same with our oil bottles here. There was two labels here. It said clearing oil on it, but we were losing opportunity to talk to our clients and have a better branding. So we redesigned that as well. So it gives a fresher feel. Uh, chakra roll-ons, we've, we've created those ones with our scents and our own labeling in there as well. So there's a whole new feel that we're developing with the center. I've thrown this picture in here just to break it up a bit. It's about, it's a twin room for our massages where we have a uh, couple's massage or, or two people that want to have a massage together. That's one of our rooms. So there's a saying, you know, what would you, knowing what you know now, and if you can go back in time, what would you do differently? So I've been in business nearly 20 years with another business of mine. So it gives me the great opportunity to go, well, what have I learned in those 20 years? And what should I do on day one that I should have done on my previous business from day one? The only problem that we all suffer is that we need money and an income. And a lot of times money stops us from doing things that we know we should do. It's like quitting smoking. You know you should do it. You know other people should do it. That's just like wellness. You know you should do it. You can tell people to do it, but we don't do it. So why? I don't know. It's an individual, it's probably an individual truth or fallacy within ourselves. We try and help people get over those hurdles. So this is the most, for me, one of a good side of it, because this is what I'm good at. Business side. So we introduced straight away a bookkeeper. Okay? So for me personally, I didn't need the money from this business because I'm fine with another business. So this is more of a passion for me. So we introduced a bookkeeper, Barbara. She spent tireless amount of time sorting stuff out, which is fantastic. An accountant, previous accountant, never reconciled their books. Wow, how could he even be operating? He let them not reconcile their books every year. We've now reconciled it with great efforts and hard sweat and tears. Contractors weren't on any contracts. Good times over for them. Some of them left. Stamped out cash payments. They were getting cash payments. We were paying the GST on all of these cash payments. About 25 grand out of my pocket we were paying GST because they just weren't doing it right. Um, we're now telling all contractors have to pay their GST component of what we do. Cost analysis. We were doing services for $100. You think, yes, you're making $100. We did the numbers on it. A $100 service was costing us 105 So we said, no, stop that service. We don't need it because I'd rather $5 in my pocket. Negotiated better terms of insurance. We put it on a monthly, so better cash flow. Coffee machine contract. They were paying uh, $50 a month for a coffee machine indefinitely. We've now got it down to $38 a month and we'll own it in three years' time. I couldn't understand why they didn't do it. Software is now all on the, uh, sorry, all the stock is on the software. We've got the correct costings, the correct margins on it, so we know when we discount. Dead stock is gone. We're communicating regularly on MailChimp and Facebook. We're updating consistent messages. Uh, we used to have monthly specials. We moved that to a seasonal special. The reason why? Because admin time and cost. Every month you've got to come up with a special. Wow, it was, it was huge. We've done a seasonal special and related it to the seasons and people's well-being over that season. Consignment. Uh, we're doing talks to businesses. So in three weeks, we've got to talk with Ken Hall and their team about mental awareness and health of their workforce. And uh, we've introduced uh, you know, Kangen to the centre, which is fantastic. Thanks, Roy, for that. So all of our clients get to have the ionised and alkaline water with any of their treatments. And, and the best thing that I can't wait to get going is our website. We've got Terry on board to do our website and that's going to be fantastic because our website is quite old. We get about 550 people a month going to our website, but we don't have any opportunity to convert them. It's not effective enough in following, converting, giving them an offer, so we're losing out on a lot of potential. So what I wanted to do today is to show you about what we've done in 12 months. Uh, the reason why we've done it is because if I can't get this working within three years into a hugely profitable business, 
then you know, I'll have to come out of it. So I'm doing all the things that I'm doing that I should have done 20 years ago in my other business, but I spent about 10 years slogging it out, learning the hard way, but in hindsight, it's all 2020 vision. And that is the same with wellness. In hindsight with wellness, it's 2020 vision. You look back and go, I wish I had done something 20 years ago. I wish I'd eaten more better. I wish I'd been more active. I wish I'd gone talk to someone when I needed to talk. I wish I'd gone seen that person. I wish I'd taken that advice. I wish I'd just paid a bit more attention to my body. I wish I'd listened to my body. I wish I knew my body even talked to me. With all things, wellness is a consistent journey. Over time, magic happens. And if you don't know that picture, that's the Grand Canyon. Thank you for the opportunity for me to present to you. <laughs> Any questions or yeah, we've got, we've got a time for questions? I would like to say great pause at the end on listening to your body there to drive it home. It is so important and I'm seeing people not looking after their body every day in my yep. sphere. So it is so important. It's brilliant, mate. Great you know, wellness is such an area where you can overlook it. You can think it's airy-fairy. But, you know, we're all going to drop dead one time. It's about how you live from now until that point and whether or not, you know, your businesses are serving you or if you're serving the business where you're looking after yourself. It's all about perception. Get it right. Um, Chris. It's really cool that you've got that massive business orientation background that you've been able to bring into this you know, real passion of yours. What's the next change that you're going to implement? I'm sure you've got something big planned. What's the next thing that you've got in store? Well, look, I've got a really a, an idea out there. Um, I don't know how it will be received, but I really would love to create a my own wellness product in terms of if someone pays something monthly, just like um, health, you pay it monthly but you can't receive the benefits a lot. So I'd like to develop a system where people pay us monthly but they can use the spa, they can use the sauna, they can get oils, they can get yeah, a VIP, so you get discount massages, you get discount treatments. So, so what the health funds do is that you're paying money for things you think you're using but you're not really, I want to try and create something internally where you actually do pay that monthly fee but you now become a VIP member. So you actually get discounts on all of these treatments which are proactive. It's something that we all know that the health funds should be doing but they're not. So that's probably my ultimate goal if I can actually do that and you might pay you know, $30, $40 a month but it means that you can avail yourself to 40% off certain areas if you are part of that system. So, yeah, that's it. Cheers. Thank you.